Yeah, so you were starting off an Elmer draw obviously against South yes. last time out. How do you look back on that game now? Hard fought. Um, you know, you look at the number of games our Brove have drawn this season, I think it's that was fourteen. So it shows you how competitive they are and, and, and at their place as well. I thought we went and stood up to the challenge well. Um, pitch was lively, conditions, you know, obviously suit our growth to the, the point of um, they're used to it a lot more and playing it a lot more. I think uh, we, we went there and we had the better of the chances in the first half um, and couldn't quite get the, 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 the goal, but then... We showed a different side to us which really impressed me. The mentality and standing up to dealing with our bro set plays and uh, still having a couple of good moments on the counter. But, you know, obviously we, we just, we know as a group that we needed to be a little bit better in the final third. But on those particular days, in those conditions, then it's important that you, you make sure you take something away with the game, from the game. And we did, and we got a clean sheet. and. I think that you know there's a real good signs there from us in terms of standing up to physicality as well. And you know we spoke before the game about what you know the back end from the Dundee fans was going to be. Yeah, like. yeah. You know, what was that like on Saturday? Brilliant. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know to have that many there. And like I say, uh, we were we were disappointed uh, at the end of the game that we couldn't send them home uh, with, with a victory. But you know it wasn't through a lack of effort from the players. Like I say, you know the. There's probably one, maybe two games that they could, the fans could actually throw that at us the rest of the time. It's just been either a, you know, a bit better decision making or a bit better uh, uh, execution, or you know that little bit of luck. And you always need a little bit of luck as well. Um, we didn't quite have that on Saturday. Paul Mullen shot, you know, hits the stanchion of the crossbar and the post and comes back out. Number of times you see that fly in off there, but. You know, we keep going and we're looking forward to Tuesday now. And, you know, just spoken to, to Pierre who came on and made Brilliant. the debut on Saturday. Yeah. You know, what, what have you decided to, to bring Pierre and What do you hope can, he can add? Well, first and foremost, he, you know, he's a great kid and he wants to learn, he wants to get better uh, and he has ability and uh, he's got this attacking flair where he can go past people. Um, and, you know, it was a, it was a real eye-opener for him on, on Saturday. And, you know, he, he's, uh, he's worked hard and been patient, but... Um, we're delighted to get his clearance and get him on the pitch on Saturday. Yeah, and you know, obviously, as you mentioned, there a bit of a lengthy process in getting that, that mm. finish. But you know, uh, you know, what can he add now that he's available for, to the team for, for this final run? Well, he gives us options across the whole front line. You can play on the left, you can play on the right, you can play in behind the striker. Um, and he has got this real hard-working energy attitude and he wants to go and take players on. I think... Uh, on Saturday, he was a little bit safer than what we've seen in training, which is understandable because it was his debut, and I get that. Um, spoke with him today about that. That you know, go and do what you've been doing, and don't have to do anything different. And you know, right back into a game tomorrow against Yes. Course, you know, what are you expecting from them tomorrow? Right? Uh, another tough game. It's the it's the championship. I, I like him, Murray and his team. I love the way they play. Um, and they've got some good footballers that can hurt you, but it's all about us. It's how we go about it. We got to go and back up, like you say, the the point we earn on on Saturday, and, and go and make it an even better point. We're trying to get three points tomorrow. And obviously, you spoke there about, about you know how you kind of admire Rick Rovers a lot, and you know mm -hmm. it's been quite even matched at the site. The games between yeah, yeah. the teams so far this season, but you know since you last played Wraith in that um, Challenge Cup match, you've kind of changed up the system a little bit, going a bit more of a four four two now. And do you think that can maybe make a difference in, in this game? No, I think. Look, listen. Like I say, it's it's all about what we do with the ball and, and without the ball. And, and like I say, without the ball on Saturday, I thought we showed real good signs. And you know, there's a real steely determination to keep a clean sheet. I think that's 14, maybe 15 clean sheets we've got this season now, um, which is a credit to to everybody. You know, people who obviously give the goalkeepers and the defenders the the, um, the credit, but it, we, we, we defend as a team and that starts from the front um, and you know I think it's something that we've got to keep working on. The players take great pride in it, uh, but then it's obviously about us being better with the ball in the final third and that, you know again this morning that's the attitude of the players and they want to improve and they want to make it better, which is brilliant you know to say we've got five games of the season and they're still looking at ways in which we can improve and ways which can, can get better and that's fantastic from them. And just a final one for myself. You know, who's the team you're looking at? Oh, we had some bumps and bruises from the weekend, as to be expected. But um, I think we, you know, we should be we were okay, and 
We had Cammy Kerr missing with um, illness over the weekend. We've, he's been back in today. So, you know, um, we, sh we should have a, um, a full squad to choose from, hopefully. Going top of the league on Saturday, other results obviously went your way and things. Tomorrow really has just got to be about consolidating and increasing that league at the top. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't change for us, you know, it's um, exactly the same as when we started on the first game of the season, our, our approach is to try and go and win the game um, and, and that won't change for us, you know, um, I was sat up last night watching the golf right to the end and the boy that won it round, you know, he just kept playing and, and I was listening to the commentary and I thought it was brilliant because the message that they were saying was exactly the same that's applicable to, to us in, in the message that we've used. We've got a, a mad bunch of golfers in that dressing room. So it was great to say to them, you know, did you listen to what they were saying and how he approached it? Because all they were doing was concentrating on the next shot. He couldn't be playing the 14th and be thinking about the 17th. He had to play each shot and each hole and you can't rush it. And I think that's exactly the message that we've been saying to the players all season. But it was great for me because I went, God, brilliant, I can use that. And they can understand it probably better, actually. Yeah, I mean, obviously you, you've hit that top spot. How good is it that it's just a couple of days later that you're getting another hook to keep that consistent? I, I think we, we, we love playing football, we love playing games. I think if you ask the players, they'd rather play games than training. It's as simple as that. So to be able to have another game, like I say, we went through the month of March, we're only playing three games, so now we've got games coming thick and fast and uh, you know we're looking forward to Tuesday now. And, and again, it's a big week, it's not just Tuesday. Tuesday is the important one, first of all, but it is a big week for Dudley just to, to control. No, you weren't listening, were you? 14th hole, play the 14th hole, and then when you've played the 14th hole, you play the 15th hole. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, um, so first of all, Pierre, you know, you've obviously signed here for, for Dundee and you know, it's been a bit of a, kind of a lengthy process to, to get it done. You know, what was that like for you? It took a lot of patience, but um, I'm glad we, we finally got it across the line and <clears throat> I got a lot of people to thank for that. Um, there's a lot of people behind the scenes who, who helped kind of expedite that process and, and uh, you know, get it so that I was available to, to play this past weekend and the last couple of games for the season. So just very happy about that and very thankful for, for all the people that helped get that across the line. And just, you know, how delighted are you to, to be, you know, finally signed up here in Dundee and, you know, how did that move come about for you? Obviously very, very delighted to sign for, for such a big club like Dundee, <clears throat> the great supporters and, and, and the great squad they've got here. Um, it kind of came about because uh, my my old coach at uni had one of his best friends works at a, a Scottish agency out here. So he's got good connections um, across a lot of different clubs. So um, kind of just through them, it worked out that I ended up here and, and things worked out. So just, just very delighted and, uh, and proud to, to be at a club like Dundee. And obviously you made your debut on, on Saturday against that both. And what was it like to, to come on foot for those minutes? They're very hectic, direct, aggressive, um, everything I'd expect from Scottish football. But, but no, nah, just very happy to, to finally get out there. And um, I'm just hoping I can, I can help in whatever way the team needs for, for the last couple of games of the year. And obviously it was a packed out stadium on, on Saturday, you know, with a big, big away following. You know, what was it like to, to come in? To, to that as your first game with so many away fans there. Yeah, it was great because, you know, back home I, I, I haven't really experienced it that often and I think it's a testament to, to the supporters of, of Dundee and um, the way they support the team and it, it was amazing to see and, and it was amazing for the, for the guys out there uh, to be playing in front of. And obviously that, that draws now put Dundee top of the league and what's it like for you to come into to a team, you know, in the kind of later stages of the season pushing for that title now? I mean... Part of my decision to come over here was just to to play at the highest level I can and be surrounded by players that are better than me and uh, just just to be challenged day in and day out and I think that's that's the type of club Dundee is and <clears throat> it's kind of where we expect to be with the the talent we've got in this group um, in this league and and hopefully we can we can finish the year strong and get the club back to to where it belongs in, in the Premiership. And, you know, a bit of a quick start for you back into another game tomorrow against Wraith Rovers. And you know, what are your thoughts ahead of that match? Just keep, uh, just take it game by day, uh, game by game, excuse me, <clears throat> and just uh, carry on the momentum and hopefully put in another solid result and, uh, you know, get another three points and, and finish the year strong. Coming into a new environment and a new club, usually good to, to find your feet for a few days, but 
that's not really happened for yourself. You've had to hit the ground running and be ready for it. Right. Um, and it's never easy, but I, I give a lot of credit to, to the staff and, and the rest of my teammates who have really helped make the transition as easy as it could be. Um, I think it's it's a testament to the type of guys that are on this team, the staff, and, and the culture they have at the club. So um, as difficult as it, as it is, you know, coming into a new club from a different country, you know, they, they've made they've made it a great transition, and um, I can't thank uh, the players and the staff enough for for the welcoming uh, that they've given me. So some of well, most of the the new players that have come in, one of the things that they have said about is how welcoming the door is open in that changing room, how good the players welcome you in, and how have you found that just in the last couple of days? I mean, they're they're all brilliant. Um, <clears throat> there's not one bag egg on the team, and. Um, you know, I just hope I can I can add to that and uh, you know push that that culture forward and um, <clears throat> be another asset in the locker room.